So, honestly, I probably had the most fun yesterday. Uh, questing. So, I pulled up a quest list on the wiki. And, uh, I'm just gonna try to do the ones that are, like, easy and difficulty. Although, I should probably try to find ones that are near me. Because I'm by coin right now. Uh, I can't do that one. What are my stats right now? Is my botany low? Where the fuck's botany? Yeah, it's very low. It's called Chen Fanat. It's like very heavily RuneScape 3 inspired. As I'm sure you can tell. Okay, it actually looks like there's a lot of quests by Zamok. Which I think is like the banker dude. North of Scent and west of Milltown. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, let's go back to Scent. Did I say RuneScape 3? Oh yeah, I meant RuneScape Classic. Yeah, it's clearly ve very like heavily inspired. And I'm giving it a shot, because somebody redeemed it for an OT game, and I'm like, well, okay. We'll give her hell. I should really go bank my coins. I don't lose them. Hello, T. Tiggy, how are you today? Alright, the music is great in this game, for sure. I'm literally just gonna, like, go through these quests, basically. The town of Zamok can be found north of Scent and west of Milltown. So I want to do where food is born. Talk to Poshly Bleakshire in the town north of Zamok. Bet. Hey, come here, wild chicken. Come catch these hands. Chicken animation is crazy. Yeah, that dude is. He's giving me a headbutt. He's giving me one of the headbutts of all time. Now I understand the look of my wife when I play OSRS. Honestly, yeah. That's probably how OSRS looks to them. So far, like I said, I don't know. I've, I've ultimately enjoyed playing this. At least for a while. It's, like I said, it feels familiar in a way, you know? Dude, I still haven't gotten a prayer level. It's just, it's just like RuneScape in that way. Goddamn burying bones takes forever to level up prayer. I honestly, before I quit playing this game, I really just want to kill the Mega Chicken Man. Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> Look at that thing. The Mega Cook. I'm 
gonna butcher some chicken. I think I'm high enough level to butcher this rat too, actually. We successfully butchered it for rat meat and a rat hide. Yeah, that was some BS. My luck was terrible. It says in the town north of Zamok. So I guess we're going north. I'm gonna bank my coins though, quick. That name, dot, dot, dot. Who said that? Who said that? I heard you're an RS streamer. I am. It's this town north of where I just was. I can't do song requests right now during OT. Apologies. Blue Frog. I don't know, man. I don't know. They're, they're level 10. Maybe if I want to cook those chickens, but I didn't see a range. Red Squirrel? Okay, we can take a Red Squirrel. All day. Yeah, I don't know if I can even take the frog anyway, honestly. We train strength, surely. They drop acorns. That seems fitting, I guess. Oh, there's something over here. I'm looking for a poshly bleak sire. That's Bill. Hey, look, more wild chickens. Whoa. This guy had a bad run. Well, let's see, we got wheat. We got chickens, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty fitting, you know. Where there's wheat, the chickens will follow, eh? I'm gonna keep going north, man. I guess I could pull up the map, too. Gray squirrel. Well, I've killed a red one, so, you know. Oh yeah, I gotta keep going farther north. He just gave me bones. What a scam. Oh yeah, I think I found the town. You're... 
Vegetable farmer is a level 16. Okay. Here's my man, Poshly Bleakshire. Look at that cape. Excuse me, vagrant. I'm sure you know of me, Poshly, son of Bleakshire Noble House. I have a request for someone of your station. I must know, where does food come from? The servants produce it from somewhere, but no one will explain the details. Could you find a food creation specialist who can enlighten me? I'll see what I can do. I've heard of something called a framer who might know. Could you find a framer and ask them how food is framed? I can't promise I'll use those exact words, but okay. Hey, you look like a framer. Hey, the guy over there asked me to find out how food is made. Yeah, he's been harassing us for a while. Keeps asking stupid questions. I think he'll leave if someone explains crop growth to him. Could you help? What? Why can't you explain it? I have a farm to run. You can have this as an example. That's all the help I can offer. He gives you an example beat. Uh. Have you found a framer to frame some food? I believe the right perspective will aid my understanding. Look at this beat. Astounding. A raw food. He takes the beet and bites into it. Crunch. Mmm. I truly feel the struggle of peasantry. He discards the beet. So how is this beet framed? Keep it... Spare no detail. Like most plants, beets grow through a process called photosynthesis. By mixing water with carbon dioxide from the air and minerals from the soil, plants produce energy. That energy is consumed to cause cell division. Once it's grown, we can eat the plant to take its energy reserves into our own bodies for our own cell division. That's how the food chain works. Poshy considers your words carefully. You lie. None of that makes any sense. You make it sound as if the beet is performing alchemy, but alchemists are wise old men with long beards. Have you ever seen a beet with a beard? Ugh. Oh. So you won't tell me how food is really created. Perhaps there is a ritual element you failed to mention. The food summoners must want to keep their methods secret. Well, I want to know, and I won't take no for an answer. Go pry the information from their cold, dead hands if you must. Information from their dead hands? Hmm, some torture then. I hear that's effective. <sighs> the nobleman doesn't believe plants grow in the ground. He insists there's a spell involved. I wish I were surprised. Well, the only way... Only, there's only one way to deal with folk like him. Just tell him what he wants to hear. That crops come from a farming spell. Sure, but you'll have to make it look legit. How about this? Go get some monster parts and things. Whatever could be part of a spell. You bring them back here, throw them on the ground, do a little chant, and make it look mystical. Maybe then I'll be satisfied and go away. I would hate if that worked, but it's worth a shot. The farmer pulls out a crumpled piece of paper and scribbles something down before handing it to you. Take this. Bring back three of anything on the list and that should be enough. There's a magic... Three is the magic number, right? I'm sure I read that somewhere. Jungle frog, itchweed, herb, autumn berry, clam shell, piety bones, an old shoe, a playing card, a feather. Okay... Um, I have bones and a feather on me? Um... So... I wonder what would be the easiest thing to get nearby here. I'll look at the wiki. Uh, autumn berries are a drop from kind of a high level thing. I don't want to kill frogs. Itchweed is dropped from a high level. What about an old shoe? Nope, those are high levels. 
Ace of Spades. Okay, we're gonna have to go with the clam shell. I think I actually have a clam shell in my bank. So I'm gonna go grab that, and then we should be good, because I got bones, feather, and clam shell. Is there like only one bank in this damn game? I've only seen the one so far. Let me let me let me whittle this down on the map here. Banks. There's the one in Zamok. There's one in Coin. Yeah, there's like four. Five, rather. Yeah, there's okay, there looks like there's five banks in the whole last game. There are goblins nearby that drop Ace of Spades. I am level... Am I high enough level for that, though? I think I'm, like, level 7. Yeah, unless, unless the wiki is inaccurate, it says Ace of Spades is dropped by Grim Thug and Toothy Vampire. It's hard to say. The combat's weird in this game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I never know what I can fucking kill when I can't. <laughs> it's alright. Let's go bank and grab my clam shell. We love a bit of TOA with the boys. The frogs that pawn to drop frogs. <gasps> no way. Blue frog, level 10. Okay, we're gonna give it a shot. If I must run, I will run. Bro, you don't look like a friend. Look at him. Look at him swing that tongue at me. Well. I will be ready to run. Oh my god. We're tanking this surprisingly well so far. I shouldn't say things like that. Oh, a two? Okay, come on. No! Fuck. I don't want to die, man. I don't want to die, man. You win this time, frog. You win this time. Go hit your rejuvenation pool. <laughs> Wish there was a range to cook at around here. Oh my diddly, there is. Holy. Because I do have stuff to heal with. Chicken. Chimkin. Bro, the chicken only heals one. Hiya. Okay, I do have a clamshell, right? Yes, I do. Look at me. I... I, I got some cooked rabbit here, too. I'm going to imagine the quality should be irrelevant. Yo, give me this rabbit so I can go kill that frog. I gotta finish what I started. Okay, clam shell, feather bones.
Dude, all I can think of is that video I watched the other day. Of that old British grandma. That's a frog, isn't it? <laughs> you need three of each, right? No, any of the following three items. Wait. Oh, shit. Having at least three of the required items. I... I have a gift for you. A jack-o'-lantern. Thank you. A bit of fashionscape. Enjoy, sir. Thank you. Oh, and you got a frog for me. My goodness. The people of Gen Fanat are too kind. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go see if he will take this quest. Unless I'm misinterpreting the wordage of it, but... Yeah, somebody gave me a Santa hat the other day as well, so... I'm all fashioned out of my mind. Town I want over there. Level 27 guard, what an animal. Okay, Drugan. I've got some of your items. Alright, I've got three things from the list. We should be set for the magic trick. Any last advice? I don't know. Put them on the ground and squawk like a bird. Jump up and down, spit on it. Not like he knows which way is up. And what if it doesn't work? Drugan stops mid-chuckle, his eyes wide in primal fear. I hadn't thought of that. What if... What if he doesn't leave? Then you get a new neighbor. Oh, hell no. I won't sleep soundly knowing that nincompoop is less than a mile away. This just got really real, adventure. It's time to put that theater degree to work. If you're suggesting a musical, I'm out. No, no, I'm saying we need to pull out all the stops, bring the magic, put on a show. Understand? If we don't totally convince him that food comes from the astral plane, I'll never get another, no another solid night's rest. Well, what do you have in mind? They say magic is about the senses, right? We need to capture them with more than just a light show. Let's add sound and smell to the ritual. And a magic staff, too. The sounds. I was thinking like bones cracking, brittle ones I can snap with my hands. Okay, check. Have you, uh, done this before? We're not too far from a beach. See if you can't find a fish skeleton lying around. What about the smell? Coffee and bacon in the morning, but that's not what we're after. We need incense or a scented candle. Know anybody with something like that? No. I walked past a funny-smelling guy on the road into coin the other day. He seemed like the type to carry incense. There was also that woman who passed through it in a caravan not too long ago. Nice lady. Said she was looking to step up, set up a fortune-telling tent off the beaten path. So I put her to the edge of the dark forest. She was headed for the south of the one and she left. Find one of those two people and I'm sure we'll find our incense. And the staff. You haven't come across anything like that in your questing? A staff or a magic rod? Hmm. Well, the important bit is that it looks magical. How's your whittling? Always improving. Growth mindset, you know. I'll bet your whittling is adequate enough. How about you find a log and carve up a magic staff? Either that or find some other magic rod. I did. 
to the east for our fish skeleton. Arr, Captain Heck. Ay, the sun be shining and the fishies biting. Tis a good day indeed. I'm sure the fishies aren't biting for just anyone. It must help that you're a master fisherman. Ay, it's true. The fishies be swimming onto my hooks like lovers to a siren. You must have so many fish you don't know what to do with them. That I do. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just here to watch a professional at work, that's all. I bet you're a wizard with a fillet knife, too. Ah, you should see me in the kitchen. Me ex-wife never did appreciate me culinary skills. We all should be so lucky. That's what I said. Poor guy. I'm sure it gets lonely. Aye, but it's true what they say about pirate life. The sea is me only mistress. So you just sit at home all by yourself? All alone in me cottage. I. And that cottage would be... The big one, down at the end there. Got it, thanks. <laughs> they, uh... Really all look to be the same size, but okay. You find a fish skeleton, it's clean as a bone. Check. Head to the southwestern border of the dark forest and talk to Rupee or Sage north of coin. Um I don't know which of those is closer to me. I'm guessing the the dark forest is this dark area to the east. And I do know where coin is already though. So I guess I'll just go to coin. I suppose. I gotta find where I am on the map right now. Oh, I see. Check this shortcut out. Go west. I will follow you. Rangers lead the way. Somebody did mention something about a shortcut yesterday. Yeah, I'm getting lured right now. <laughs> Oak tree. Ooh. Owl, level 13. Rabbit, level 14. We're going on a trip. Golden Goblin Warrior. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. At the end of this road, another hundred paces, maybe? I never counted. I see. Is a table. The table has a stool. It is called the Fairy Cherry. <laughs> okay. It teleports you to coin. That's dope. The fairy cherry.
Inspect stool. A wooden stool in the middle of the woods. Would you like to sit down? Yes. The stool is fairly comfortable, and the sounds of the forest around you are soothing. Stay seated. Stay. Sunlight through the leaves paints a coat of yellow onto the overgrown rustic table. You feel your eyelids droop. Stay seated. A light breeze plays over your face. You rest your head on the table, close your eyes, and your wind through the trees. Stay seated. You wake suddenly and find yourself in a different place. You must have dozed off and been whisked away by the fairies. Hmm. Nice. Very cool. What is that over there? Albino leech? What the fuck? I'm assuming coin is over here. Guy with the incense is to the west of the road here. Ah, okay. I see, thank you. Oh, I see where we are on the map. I do have a some do. I don't know if I have enough, but... Hey, Sage the Sage. Well met, hero. Hello. What makes you say I'm a hero? We're all heroes of a kind, wouldn't you say? Heroic potential lies in each of us. If that's not too cliche to say. So what can I do for you, hero? Do you have any incense? I need incense for a magic trick. Can you help an adventurer out? Who is it you are trying to deceive? A nobleman. I just need a little. It's for a good cause, I promise. Sage sighs as only someone of unknown age could. Here you are, hero. I pray your endeavor does not land you in jail. Uh, ooh. I can afford an XP boost potion. Explorer's hat. It makes you look pretty and nothing else. Tracks how many wonder blooms are left to find. Ah. Neat. I'm assuming the XP boost thingies do not work for quest rewards. But. Okay, now I need to... Chop a tree and whittle a staff. He said that uh, it looked like my stats were high enough. So I'm assuming when he says that, they check your stats. Either that or he was fucking lying to me, but we'll see. Because the wiki is telling me to get this rod of deception. And I'm like, what? The rod of What? Oh, the table does work both ways? Sweet. Axe? I've no hatchet. I'm trolling. Hmm, let's see if anybody nearby will sell me an axe. Perhapsingly. That is a lot of shit. Oh yeah, here. Bronze hatchet. That bronze hatchet requires ten logging? Damn it. Am I gonna end up back in, uh... Scent? Oh, 
Oh, well that works too. Thank you. I'm hoping that I actually do have high enough to make what I need to. Is, uh, is D barked wood? <laughs> Will he accept that as a staff? Or there's wood stick as well. Let me look at the wiki. Scroll down. Well, there's rod of deception. But I am not high enough level for that. So that is going to be a problem. I may need to, uh... See if there's perhaps another quest that will give me a bunch of XP in, uh... Whittling, maybe. Let's see. Um, well, this one gives whittling XP, but I don't know if I have the stats. I need five artistry, check. Five forging, not check. And eight botany. Definitely not check. This one requires five botany. I'm trying to find ones with no requirements. Botany, tailoring, oh, we could maybe try this one, bogged down in a creepy hollow. Doesn't have any requirements. Looks like there's a bunch of questions. It does give botany XP. Well, I guess we can give it a shot. Um, Toothusback is located south of Skull. Okay. Where the fuck is Skull? Oh, it looks like it's way to the west. Way west. I mean, I could always just try actually training my whittling for the quest I'm currently doing. I don't know how long that would take, though. Probably a long ass time. Come here, Mr. Banker Man. I could try this one. 
This quest is you started in coin, which is where I am. Adventurer Fetch My Pants is the name of the quest. Kenneth. <laughs> Let's give it a try. You there, adventurer. You haven't seen my extremely fashionable pants lying about, have you? Uh, describe them to me. My turquoise pantaloons designed by the legendary Bellum Von Schnitzel. Have you seen them? Bellum Von... Not Coco Channel? I thought you said they were fashionable. Kenneth looks at you like you just smacked him in the face. I can't say I've seen them. Well, what about the criminal who stole them? That noble named Sir Gregory who took them right out from under me. He wears, he wears black like his heart, though he's probably wearing my pants by now. I haven't seen him either. Won't you find him for me? I'll pay handsomely for my pants' safe return. I guess. Of course you haven't. If you'd be so kind, start with the tavern where he beat me at dice. It's just there behind me. Okay. Okay, yeah, you know what? I don't think this quest is going to be a play either. This quest is telling me I need to be able to survive aggressive level 35 monsters, which I absolutely cannot do, so. <laughs> okay. I think we're headed to Send, then. Try to work on getting my tailoring up. Yes, a Nema total. Oh, he sells range stuff. Why is there a dog in here? If anything, it's classic. Climb down trap door? Yeah, okay, I'll bite. Ride log seat? Where am I about to fucking end up? River flows north, no doubt the work of a wizard. There's also a note attached. This is my private log, do not touch it or else, Sir Kenneth. It's been tied with a complex knot. For now, the log isn't usable. Huh. Yep, log. Uh-huh. No, I've already done that quest. I'm 
mean, I could maybe try this one. It does seem a bit long, but... We might be able to survive. Fingers crossed. Ah, yes. A hatchet. Thank you. <laughs> Something like that. I love the woodcutting sound effects. Definitely not. Level three logging? I'm I am pogging. Yo, Loctopus, thank you very much for the 33-month uh, resub. I hope you're having a great day today. Okay, I gotta go to the bank and grab my knife. And we have also got a Prime sub from Gail Geltialiano. <laughs> That's definitely not how you say your name. Gail Geltaliano. Yo, thank you very much for the primer. I really appreciate it, man. I'm sorry. I, I know I'm fucking your name up. I need my knife. How much XP do I get for this shit? What gives the most XP? Okay, a bucket gives... 8. Wood gives... 8. Is it all the same? And a stick gives... Yeah, 8. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna make buckets. Seems the most satisfying to me. Level 3 whittling. Poggers. Can you shift drop things? Oh, you can. It's just, it literally make when I, when I shift drop like that like crazy, it literally makes the game freeze. <laughs> Looks like a lot of trees over here. I'm going this way. Hey, there's a shitload of trees. I don't I don't know what mobs are aggressive and which aren't. I can't imagine the, the buckets sell for very much.
You would think not. Oh no, yeah, it's aggressive. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, the goblins are aggressive. The pizza is aggressive, Jimbo. Is that a zero anvil tecton? Literally the greatest feeling. Ooh, unstrung short bow. That should give me more XP per, you'd think. Am I high or is that giving less? 7 XP. And this gives 8. Why would the thing that requires a higher level give me less XP? <laughs> what? You can make debarked wood, then use the log on that again? Big brain strats? Oh my god, I love you. Oh, you just told you just saved me so much time. You are actually the goat. And do it again on the timber? Get out of town. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wood steak. Red flowers. For you, chat. For you. I just got like five logs from that tree. Holy. It's something. Okay, so debarked wood. A humble 8 XP a pop. Okay, now we turn it into timber. I could try getting level 5 botany for one of these quests. I don't know if botany is like literally you just collect vegetables and that's the only way you level it up or what. Now I feel like I'm missing out on some big brain strats probably. Is this game fun? 
I mean, I, it feels like RuneScape. Just weird. It is called Genfinad. Picking veggies was the only way last year when the game came out. Oh, man. It's much better once you get to corn. I forget. Do I need level 7 or 8? Seven? 7. Okay. We'll be there in no time. And then we can finish this quest. I don't even remember the name of it, man. I don't know. To be fair, the code gets automatically applied when you click on the link. So, like, I guess, like, the name of the code is irrelevant anyway. You just just click on the link, you know? Um, I think somebody got the first 99 in the entire game the other day. Like, just one skill. <laughs> sure it took for fucking ever. the bone boys we have got a four month resub from high rum pig thank you high rum pig for the uh the four months as well as 32 months from arch 506 this game seems oddly familiar it does doesn't it <laughs> thank you guys both very much for the uh the resubs Oh, here we go. Where food is born. We're gonna get botany XP. Oh, good. I wanted to get level 5 anyway. Cooking and evocation XP. I mean... It's not like it's an exact copy. Per se. <laughs> Just very clearly inspired. Yeah, heavily inspired. Want some food, mammal? I should be okay. It's free. It's free to play. Wait, what did I just find? What the hell's a golden beetle? I hope it tastes like butter. Is it used in cooking? Logging level 6. It's genfinad.com. It's, it's currently browser. But I think they said they want to put it on Steam soon. They're just, they're collectible, not really used for anything. Gotcha. Here 
There was one that I was looking at that requires level 5 botany, which I think I'll get from the quest, maybe. So I could look at doing that. Family matters. This game is just like RuneScape, and though it's very, very easy to waste a lot of time. I am, yeah. It's interesting learning about it. No, th this is an OT game. No, there's different music in different areas of the game. I've just been in the same area for a while. Because there's a lot of trees here. Goblins, wherever they are. Gen for light lets you shovel music. Yeah, that is cool that there's a a rune light, you know, equivalent for Gen for that. That's neat. Hello, old red bean. How you doing? How is my logging doing? Nice, we're getting there. Are you going to max in this game? No. No, I will not. I can't imagine how many hours that would actually take. For context, to my understanding, there is one person in the entire game with 199 in any skill. Like, just period. So, yeah. Uh, whenever, I guess. I figured I'd probably play for about a week. Something like that. Or maybe longer if I'm having a lot of fun, but... I figured I'd at least give it a week of OT playing. Give it a shot. There it is. Level 7 whittling. I mean, I may as well whittle the rest of these for the XP, but uh, now we can make our staff and finish the quest. God bless the devs for putting shift to drop in this game. Holy. Oh, I'm definitely not playing this one like an iron. People have given me a lot of free shit. I'm shameless. Okay, let's make... The Rod of Deception. And I need... What did I say? Uh, a Fish Skeleton. And... What the hell was it? Fish Skeleton, the Rod of Deception, and... Uh, Oh, the incense there.
I don't think you can zoom the mini-map out. No, not, I mean, unless, not, not at least in this version. Press plus and uh, minus. Oh. Oh, that's really nice. That's really good. Good to know. Very helpful. Okay, I think my quest is just up to the north somewhere. Danielle goes, is that RuneScape? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Alright, Drugan, I've got your stuff. Yeah, that's true. Everything does look pretty examinable. I found everything we need, Drugan. Incense, magic rod, and a fish skeleton. I'm still not sold in the last one, but you're the feeder major. Alright then, let's do it. Shouldn't we rehearse first? You said we only got one shot at this. Nope, I'm feeling the fire. I think we should wing it. You don't sound like a theater major. The curtain rises. Drugan calls poshly over. The nobleman hurries towards you excitedly. Is it time? Is the spell prepared? I've heard a long rest is necessary. At no point did you hand it to him, but Drugan is suddenly holding your magic rod. The time has come, poshly. Today you bear witness to the creation of life. Drugan begins walking in a wide circle, tracing a transmutation circle into the earth. You lay out the first batch of components in a careful formation, then sprinkle on the incense. At the sound of dry snapping, you look up to see Drugan holding the fish skeleton to the sky, shaking the pieces at the afternoon sun. You jump up and down, chanting gibberish. Wow! From somewhere, Drugan pulls a silver dagger and slashes it across his palm. Blood oozes from his clenched fist. <clears throat> Nothing is free, nobleman. Finally, you nudge the discarded example beat into the mess of components. I see it! A beat appeared! There you go. That's how food is created. It looks like there's a bite taken out of it. Oh, that's because of the, um, mana locusts. I see. Thank you so much for demonstrating the secret for me. Take care. You keep it, Poshley, a bleak shire noble house. The livelihood of farmers everywhere depends on it. On my life, I vow to never speak of it. Now, on to the matter of my payment, Poshley. Of course, of course. Here is the leftover soup my staff packed for lunch. Okay. We advanced five levels in botany. We are now level seven. We advanced a level in cooking. We are now level nine. And we advanced five levels in evocation. We are now level six. Holy. Uh... I think I'm gonna do this quest by, uh... It's called Family Matters. Looks like all I need is a hammer. Plenty is a town southeast of Scent and west of Coin. 
Oh, is it like the farmer town? Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, let me just go grab a hammer quick. It looked like none of the quests give, um, combat XP. Unless I'm blind, I'm not seeing anything that gives, like, attack, strength, or defense XP. So you really just gotta fucking kill stuff. Good old-fashioned way. There's some that do? Oh, really? See vitality. Oh, there we go. Crafty kingsmanship does give attack and strength. Yeah, I see that. Castle mania gives attack XP. Yeah, I don't know if I can survive that, though. Hard to say. Because it says hostile enemies level 15 to 27. They very well might one-hit me. That very well could one-hit me. Oh, I need my hammer. That's what I was banking for. I'm going to take, like, some of my coins out just in case. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll look at that tomorrow. See if I can knock out some vitality reward ones. Let's see. I'm looking for vitality. Okay, that one gives it, but I gotta kill high level shit, so that's a no go. Hey, congratulations, Tyron. That's huge. This one gives 5,000 Vitality XP, but you had to kill a bunch of high-level stuff, so that's also a no-go. Uh, same with that one. Whoa. This one only requires 10 Botany, but it gives 5,000 Botan XP. Holy shit. Yeah, this one gives XP, but it's hostile enemies. Yeah. Royal Distractions gives lots of XP. Maybe I'll try to do that one tomorrow. The requirements don't look too bad. Just artistry and forging. Which artistry I have, forging I don't, botany I don't, but I could get. Okay, uh... Family matters, speak with the guard at the entrance of plenty. Hello. Hmm? Oh, greetings. You sound upset. Sorry, it's just a personal problem. Need to get something off your chest? Well, the anniversary of my mom's funeral's coming up, but I wasn't granted leave to go bring flowers to her grave. My brothers understand, but it's still weighing on me, you know? Yes, I'll help you. That's certainly not fair. I'm on the road. Perhaps I can take them in your stead. You do that? It's the life of an adventure. That's mighty fine of you to offer. Thanks, I'll take you up on it. Old McDavid has a farm. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> and on this farm, he has a garden. E-I-E-I-O. Stop that. It's to the north. He grows a flower there called the Primrose, among a few others. 
It was my mom's favorite to grow herself. My brothers and I leave one at her grave every year. He knows who I am and what it's for, so he shouldn't trouble you too much if you ask on my behalf. So I just nip a primrose and drop it on the grave? Sounds easy. Where's the graveyard, and what name am I looking for? The graveyard is a small local one by the church to the south. Shouldn't be too difficult. This promises to be good fun. Oh well, it is a life and adventure. You're doing my family a huge favor here. Thank you. Right. North to Milltown. Milltown is the town with the mill, believe it or not. <gasps> I, for one, cannot believe it. Iron Man in my CC just got a twisted bow. Ooh, nice. Any McDavid's. There he is. Excuse me. Huh? Who are you? An adventurer sent by... Another? I've had it up to here with all you thinking you can just barge in here. Sir. Snip me flowers. Sir? And mash them all up to dye your clothes before you walk out of here with an armful of me crops. Your flowers can dye clothes? Y you didn't know? No, I was sent here to get a primrose for Evelyn something's gravesite. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? Right, I had all the opportunity in the world. And I don't like your tone. I don't know why you're here instead of him. But you got the names and timing right, so I suppose I can help you. If you help me. Oh boy, with what? The fences! Root moles keep getting in me crops, and the fences can't keep them out. Here's some nails, and you can find a hammer somewhere. Go fix me fence. I brought my hammer because I'm very, very smart. I somehow knew. Dwarf cannon quest, I see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I think I'm done. I got him. Yeah, so I see. Looks like the rascals ain't making new holes. Well done. Now, let's see about getting them at the source, eh? Hold on. Our deal was I stopped them from popping up here, and you let me pick a flower. Ah, so you can't stay and help? Maybe later. Give me your goddamn primrose. Back down south we go.
Yeah, I think um It's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting thing. Hey, congratulations on uh, your Zami Spear, attaboy. I think it's an interesting thing is gonna happen with this game. If they bring it to Steam, it might gain some popularity. And, like, this game, like, from an outsider's perspective, who's, you know, played other MMOs, like, this game really needs, like, teleports and shit, if we're being honest. But there's gonna be a problem where, like, there's going to be the OGs of this game that are not going to be a fan of updates like that that make the game easier and quicker. It, it's gonna be, uh... We have the same kind of dynamic in RuneScape all the time, so it's it's gonna be an interesting, uh... Greetings. I trust you're making further progress. The OGs want that more than anything? Oh, really? Good. Good, good, good. I just imagine, you know... OGs being kind of elitist, like, oh, you know, I was here when it was hard, and yada, yada, yada. I've got the flower. Where do I need to take it? Wonderful. Please, plant it at the grave of Evelyn, which is in the small churchyard graveyard to the east. Got it. I won't let you down. Yeah, so the church is east and then north of Coin. Yeah, because I, I think this game really does have potential, but, you know. If it wanted, if they if they really wanted it to get big and popular, it definitely could use a lot of, uh... A lot of updates that make it a little bit less grindy. Yeah, me neither, Gaggle. Hmm. <laughs> Unheard of. Oh, I'm like one XP off of 10 cooking. Dope. Is this the church up here by chance? I need a headstone that says Evelyn. Someone very important is buried here. Place the flowers on the wooden cross. Oh, okay. Nothing interesting happens. Do I drop them? Oh, maybe this wooden cross. Oh, place flowers on wooden cross. Yeah. You drop the primrose onto the grave. And that's that. Job well done. Rest in peace, Evelyn. Your son is sorry he couldn't be here. As you speak, a transparent figure rises from the gravestone. Zoinks, a ghost. You are not my son. Thank you for bringing a flower in his stead, though. It's nice to know one of my children remembers my favorite flower. Just not the actual date of my death. Oh. Evelyn's ghost fades away as she laughs, though her laughter echoes on after she's gone. Well, that was weird. But I'd call it a happy ending. Like Zoink Scoob, let's get out of here. Um... Oh, do you mean the fairy... Uh... I, u I used that earlier, Z now, in the, the shortcut teleport thingy. <laughs> Whatever the hell it was called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is nice. At least there's some form of teleportation.
Hello again. Greetings. You look chipper. Well, I come with good news. I got the flower placed. That's wonderful. Thank you. It gets better. Your mom's ghost came out and said she was glad you remembered her favorite flower. Her ghost? Surely you jest. I'm serious. She even laughed at you and yet that you and your brothers forgot today is her death's anniversary. She didn't even mention the funeral date. Goodness. Off to tell my brothers. Thank you, kind stranger. All in a day's work. He reaches out to shake your hand when something occurs to him. Say, if you don't mind graves and ghosts, I heard a rumor that might interest an adventurer like you. North of Zamok Castle is a hilltop next to a crossroads. On top of the hill is a small gravesite. One of my guard friends tells me he's seen something spooky up there. He doesn't scare easily, but he wouldn't say what. Ooh. Might be worth investigating for someone capable like yourself. Thanks again for helping me, adventure. It's good to know my mother is happy in the afterlife. You have completed Family Matters. We gained a level in Botany, we're now level 8. We gained 5 levels in Piety, we're now level 6. And we gained 2 levels in Whittling, so we are now level 9. Excellent. Alright, let's peep the stats. We are undoubtedly gaming. I think tomorrow I want to do Royal Distractions. It says I need 5 Artistry, which I've got. Five Forging, which surely I can get that in no time. And eight Botany, which I do have, so... Sweet. No problem. You do need a lot of items, but... Oh no, they're all pretty easy. Easy items to get, it looks like. Alright then, I am gonna call it...